The UFC bantamweight division is full of stars, and after Corey Sanhagen beat Marlon Vera, there are now fights that need to be made. So here are three bantamweight fights that the UFC should make. Number three, Piotr Jan versus Marlon Vera. Both Marlon and Piotr are coming off of a loss in their last fight. After losing to Corey Sanhagen, Vera will likely fall in the men's bantamweight rankings. Piotr Jan has lost his bantamweight title, and he now has lost three fights in a row. Both of these fighters are also the same age, 30 years old, and given that both of these fighters are in need of a win in order to get back in a title shot contention, I think this fight makes sense, and we should see these two fight in order to see who can get back to the top of the bantamweight division. Number 2, Umar Nurmagomedov versus Marab Divalishvili. Marab has recently defeated Pyotr Jan, pushing back any chance of a title run even further. So, why not see if he can do that again against an undefeated and big name star in Umar Nurmagomedov. Being the younger cousin to UFC legend Habib Nurmagomedov, Umar is looking to carry on that last name and go down a similar path like Habib did, becoming world champion and remaining undefeated. An undefeated superstar with an important name to represent, facing a guy on a 9 fight win streak and is also the number one ranked bantamweight contender would be very exciting to watch and would have a lot at stake. Number 1, Sean O'Malley vs Henry Cejudo While Henry Cejudo is getting ready to fight Aljamain Sterling, Henry and Sean have not seen eye to eye for a while now. Back at UFC 276, Sean O'Malley had a no contest against Pedro Munoz and when Sean was being interviewed backstage after the fight, Henry said this. I didn't see that. You want a matchup if he's right here. I'd love a tune-up. What do you say, Precious? Serious? What do you say? Are you in the, you're, you're good to go now, yeah, huh? I'm good to go. Say what, it. What would you want to bend the knee at what time? Because I think you absolutely suck. Sean is the number two ranked bantamweight contender, and regardless if Henry is champion or not, these two don't seem to like each other, constantly going at each other on Twitter. Plus, many people think Sean was out-wrestled by Piotr Jan, so why not feed Sean an Olympic gold medal wrestler to see if he has improved or if he still struggles? Sean O'Malley vs. Henry Cejudo is definitely a pay-per-view worthy fight that other fans would enjoy watching. These are just a couple fights of a couple fighters that we have in the bantamweight division. We have a lot of other fighters such as Dominic Cruz, Song Yedong, and Rob Font that could also make some big name fights against these fighters that I mentioned. These were three fights that I would make, but I want to know what are three fights you think the UFC should make. Let me know in the comments section down below. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.